And there's lots of other things to talk about as well. Nottingham Forest, they book their place in the playoff final. They will face Huddersfield on May the 29th. It's live and exclusive for you on TalkSport. Nottingham Forest fans, good morning to you. Um, I imagine you're feeling wonderful and amazing, so we do want to hear from you. Congratulations on that win last night. What was it, three penalty saves in the end yep. as well? Congratulations. Um, unfortunately, it's tinged with a little bit of disappointment. Well, a lot of disappointment, really, because fans invaded the pitch at full time. Um, during the celebration, Sheffield United's Billy Sharp, he was headbutted by a fan as he was on the side of the pitch. And this fan came out of nowhere as far as Billy's concerned. Billy didn't see him coming, um, headbutted him right in the side of the head and, and he really took a like a run-up, really took a run-up and it was a lot of force. Now, a 31-year-old man has been arrested. Sheffield United boss Paul Heckingbottom spoke after the incident and gave us this update on his captain and striker. He's OK now, he's shook up. Uh, it's, it's a disgrace. Got it on camera. No, he's OK? Him. Yeah, he's shook up, yeah. He's yeah. stitches, he's, he's, he's knocked to the ground, he's yeah, headbutted. It's my new zone business, it's our place of work and we're not safe. And we see it every Monday night, you watch Monday night football, you, you might watch Sunday afternoons, Friday night, whatever we're watching. Experience it today, things thrown at you on the side of the pitch, pitch invasions and every commentator, everyone, it's unsafe for the player, player safety's at risk. Nothing's ever been done, but we'll make sure something will be done about this. Um, without a doubt we've got it and, and if we, it has to be us as a football club then we'll do it OK there we go um, really disappointing scenes um, we've sent our best to Billy Sharp as well because um, he's had stitches uh, the fan a 31 year old man he has been arrested Forrest have said they will ban that fan uh, for life yeah. as well um, should that punishment be extended and, and, and made a lot worse because Ali I feel like something more needs to be done these pitch invasions are happening very often and uh, like Paul was saying there it's not just pitch invasions there was a story about a couple of journalists as well being attacked in the stands <coughs> a little while ago there are things that are being thrown as missiles onto the pitch by fan bases too um, does it feel like it's getting a bit out of hand and, and in terms of pitch invasions as well what do you do to stop them? Would you, I'm going to tell you something, right? Um, I only saw it this morning, and it's as cowardly an act as I've seen at a football ground, maybe ever, ever. Billy Sharp is looking, obviously, disappointed the way Evans going, blah, 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 and some idiot, absolute idiot, comes from his blind side and puts the head on him, mm. gives him stitches. It is an absolute disgrace. It's the, listen, do you know what the guy is? He's a coward. That's what he is, Woodsy. And, and, the, and it's the worst thing you can call any man, believe yeah. me. The worst thing you can call any man's a coward, and that's exactly what he is. Coming out of Billy Sharp's blind side, didn't see him, no chance to protect himself. It was absolutely shocking. Yeah. And it took the gloss. I don't care what MD says. I'm delighted for Forrest. And Steve Cooper's done a wonderful job. Let's not get away from it. And they're looking forward to the game against Huddersfield. So congratulations. But I'm telling you right now, Woodsy, that has taken the shine off that Forrest yeah. result. No doubt about it. Scandalous. I didn't understand, Ali, that you, your team... Hasn't been in the Premier League for how many years? They've got a chance now. Yeah. Won the game, are going to Wembley. Why aren't you celebrating with the other Nottingham Forest Correct. fans? What they're doing on the Correct. pitch, celebrating, enjoying the moment. I don't understand why that would even come through your mind. Like it, 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 it's strange behaviour. Gabby, you're a hundred percent right, mate. I mean, the the, the one thing when when I. When I was fortunate enough to score against Celtic, for example, yeah. the first thing I wanted to do was go back to my own fans and celebrate with the Rangers fans because the Celtic fans don't want to see you celebrate. And I get that, right? So you go back to your own fans, celebrate them. I, I couldn't believe what I saw. I, I, I actually could not believe what I saw. You're 100% right, mate. Go and enjoy it. And we saw it. I think, I don't know if you saw the footage. There was some idiot um, from Eintracht Frankfurt ran on the park in um, the West Ham game mm -hmm. and was videoing himself with Mike, Michael and uh, Antonio. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I it, yeah. Doing, yeah. You know, and I'm thinking to myself, yeah. pathetic. What an absolute yeah. diddy or a numpty, as Big Al would call it. Yeah. Absolute numpty. Just go and enjoy the occasion with your own fans and celebrate. That's what you should do. There's, never mind there's no place in it. I mean, yeah. 
I think I'm genius. That, that's a geo, that's a geo of offense. I watched a bit in it um, of, of the the game, Ali, and there was the incident, wasn't there, with um, Spence as well? And I think <clears> the manager, Hecking Bottom, probably was in the wrong for his reaction, where he sort of threw the ball back at him, and the benches got involved. Yeah. But tensions are high, aren't they? It's a, it's a such a rewarding course, yeah. game. Managers can sometimes do things that they shouldn't have done. He mm. will, will hold his hands up for that, but. That doesn't entitle uh, Nottingham Forest fans to come on the pitch and fly in headbutt as well with a run-up. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. It, it's it, un unbelievable. Yeah. I was lost for words yeah. and I've seen it. Just going yeah. back to that incident with Paul Heckingbottom. So basically, if anyone missed it last night, what yeah. happened was the ball went out for a throw-in. Jed Spence went to take it. Paul picked up the ball and, and instead of passing it back, he like yeah. shoved it into yeah. his, his tummy. Jed didn't really react, actually. I think he was fairly yeah, amused, fine. actually, yeah. but it caused a bit of a... Um, uh, some commotion on on the touchline with the uh, you know people coming in to try and separate <laughs> each other and that sort of stuff. Um, that incident aside from the um, from the fan that ran onto the pitch and headbutted Billy Sharp, you have to separate them. Don't compare them. But as an individual incident, no. he got booked for that. Ali, <laughs> do you you don't really see that very often, do you? With managers, kind of, I suppose in an incident like that, uh, emotions getting the better of him, shall mm -hmm. we say? No, absolutely, would you, Gabby? But they're, they're two completely separate issues, right? I, I haven't seen that particular incident, but I hear you. And from what from what I'm hearing, I think Paul Heck Heckenbottom might have been out of order a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That happens. That you can caught up in the emotion of the game, and you can be out of order and you get a yellow card. And if he apologises, realises he was wrong, fair enough, right? That happens. But we can all accept that. You move on. However, what happened at the end of the game? It's something completely and utterly different, and that is, but for me, it's yeah. com it's just totally, totally unacceptable, Gabby. I totally agree, and like we've got a break now, Ali. But you're right; it did take the you know the joy out of it. The result, definitely. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, six till ten, on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.